Welcome to Community Roundtable. I'm your host, Henry Huang. Uh, we're in for a really special treat today. In our studio today is the beautiful 2009 Los Angeles Miss Chinatown Corps. Uh, since there's so many of them here in our studio, I'm going to go ahead and ask them to introduce themselves. Hi, my name is Lindsay Louie. I'm the 2009 Miss Los Angeles Chinatown Queen, and it's a pleasure to be here this evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Marissa Wall, and I'm the Miss Los Angeles Chinatown 2009 First Princess. Thank you so much for having us tonight. Good evening. My name is Janice Chan, and I'm the second princess. Thank you for having me here tonight. Hi, my name is Jennifer Louie, and I'm this year's third princess. Hi, my name is Suyeon Wu, and I'm this year's 2009 Miss Los Angeles uh, Chinatown Fourth Princess and Miss Photogenic. Hello, everybody. My name is Joyce Huang, and I'm the 2009 Miss Friendship. Thank you for having us here. Welcome, you guys, all here. Actually, I never have so many beautiful women in my show before. <laughs> uh, it actually making me a little nervous, but uh, you know, I'm going to do my job uh, today. You know, for the benefit of uh, my audience, my viewers. Uh, let me first off and ask you guys a question. Um, I know we hear, you know, it's a brand name, Miss Chinatown stuff, but I, even, even myself, I don't know the, what is Miss Chinatown pageant and, and, and maybe the history of it, the rich history of it. Maybe one of you can uh, share with us. Well, the, I, the Miss Los Angeles Chinatown pageant was formed by the Chinese Chamber of Commerce back in the 60s, I believe it was. Um, it provides young women of Chinese culture to really give back to the community and show that we're just not pretty faces with crowns, but that we're intelligent, hardworking young women who want to give back to the Chinatown community. And how long it's been running continuously for the pageant? Um, in, I think the first queen was crowned in 1963, mm -hmm. and then so it's been going on since then. 1963. Yeah, I believe so. So it's been run and then it's and interrupted Continuous. for. I think it was interrupted for about four years, and then it came back. I think in 1970 or something. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm ask me the dates, but yeah, and then um, so I think there was a queen, and then later on they added. Um, I think like Miss Firecracker and then Miss mm -hmm. Chinese New Year and then Miss Friendship and, and so on and so forth. Right. And what made you all want to be part of this wonderful pageant? I mean, what prompted you? What made you look at it and say, hey, I want to become a Miss Chinatown? Um, okay. Anyone? I think with its history, it makes it seem like there's something special about it that you want to be a part of it. because. There has to be a reason why it's been going on for so long. There's definitely other women out there who have been on this path and have done well and gotten um, something really good out of it. And so we just wanted to take part of that. Mm -hmm. So have you guys heard about Miss Chinatown pageant before you guys entered the, the contest? Um, I actually hadn't heard about it um, until about two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I was really lucky that um, one of our alumni, um, Queen Lisa Wong, she actually contacted me. Um, and told me about the pageant. And last year, I actually had two friends who were on court, and so I was able to actually ask them about their experiences, and they were told me how much fun it was. So that's kind of how I fell into it. Right. And has it been fun for you guys? So yeah, much fun. So much yeah. fun. Yeah. So much Even though right now it's late at night and a rainy day, you guys <laughs> no. will come out here and come on to my show. And, you know, really, it's a pleasure having you guys all here. Thank now, you. Thank you. Now, being Miss Chinatown Corps, I'm sure you guys hold very important uh, responsibilities. Uh, can you share with me that what kind of responsibility do you guys have as, you know, the Miss Chinatown Corps? As the Miss Chinatown Court, I think our main responsibility is be ambassadors of the Chinatown community, of the, cult, the Chinese American culture. Um, we attend over 150 events every year to go and be representatives of Los Angeles Chinatown. And it's a lot of fun to be with these girls who are so amazing and to make new friends wherever we go. So. And well, I don't think it's exclusive either. It's not just the Chinese American community. We're actually reaching out to all sorts of Asian American communities out there mm -hmm. and trying to bridge the gap to help bring us forward and do well in the greater Los Angeles community. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. wonderful. I, I mean, that's tremendous. 150 events yeah. Yeah. a year. Yes. There are only 365 days <laughs> a year. How do you guys manage that? Um, well, we would like to thank our event coordinator, Karen Lin. <laughs> she actually helps plan um, a bunch of our um, events, and 
sometimes we'll pack in three, four events in one day. Um, sometimes but, all weekend long, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all right. three days, throughout the week, after work, after school, we all try to find time and just see whatever we can make. Yeah. 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 But hearing that's going to make a lot of boys out there watching this show pretty sad because I'm sure you guys don't have time for them, right? <laughs> So what kind of, um, um, obviously, 150 events, a lot is probably a lot of charity that you guys mm -hmm. go to. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, does going to these events uh, make you guys grow as individuals? Uh, Absolutely. Definitely. I'm sure, you know, you get, you get eye widening experience meeting uh, maybe high profile people. Mm -hmm. and then, but do you guys ever get tired? I, I know I've been to a few events like this, and I know you guys have to do a lot of photo ops at the beginning of the event. And, sometimes at the end of the event. Do you guys ever get tired? And if you do, how do you manage that? I don't, oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't think we ever get really tired of it. And that's part of the, it's the fun part, you know, yeah. taking pictures with all the people. And I mean, look at this group of girls. Like, I mean, they're beautiful. And like, oh, well. it's so nice to have all these amazing women with you who are some of my best friends and really they keep, they keep me going. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, right. we are actually really lucky that um, us, Six, six girls yeah, really like important. to take photos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would actually, like, after the event is completely over and everybody's yeah. gone, I we're think the six of us are still, we'll still take pictures. Yeah. Yeah. We're taking our own photos. Yeah, we just have a lot of fun yeah. with it. Well, being mm -hmm. so beautiful, I wouldn't take any photos myself. <laughs> um, so, what, um, you know, obviously you get these uh, opportunity more than anyone else to meet. Have you ever met anybody that uh, inspire you at these events and, and you know, you get this personal, probably face-to-face -face time with them. Any story you want to share? Maybe um, run into, uh, you know, your hero. I know recently uh, Julie Chu could be the first Chinese-American yeah. woman to get you like that. I'm sure you guys have a lot of interaction with yeah. her at a lot of events. Yeah. Is anybody that you run into and go, oh my God, I, I want to be her? I think there's not you. one specific person, just because most of the people we meet at these events are leaders in the community, because those are the types of events that we get invited to to help out. Mm -hmm. And so every time you meet somebody new, it's always inspiring, because each person's, each person's path is different. Right. And so you can always learn from them. Yeah. You guys learn yeah. a lot. Yeah. 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 And actually, um, a couple weeks ago, we were invited to the East West Players Gala event. Mm -hmm. And it was just such an amazing event where there were so many stars there. And we actually met John Cho and... Um, George Takei and Carrie Annie Naba, and they were, they're just such inspiring people because they are just, they're living their dreams. Mm -hmm. I guess that's a benefit of being a lot of celebrities yeah. Yeah. along the way. Mm -hmm. uh, that's great. So, um, what would, now you know, I'm sure, you know, the viewers watching this show, that's ah, such a great, I want to be in this town, town core. What, what would be the process, uh, sure, aspiring, to, uh, you know, People out there that are looking at this, watching this show, and say, "I want to, you know, become in this Chinatown." Well, how, how, well, how would it get started? 